So you've decided to take advantage of the professional opportunities of the internet to support your development. Here are a few practical tips to help you to get started. You'll need to spend a few minutes thinking about your professional online profile. You're going to separate out the more private personal areas of your identity and focus on the professional you in order to create an online presence through a persona that reflects the purpose of this identity. You need to find a great avatar or a series of avatars using images. Be careful around those copyrights. Use your own images. Communicating something of the professional you. Think about how real it's going to be. You need to provide a profile which is verifiable. People need to know they can trust who you really are. So don't hide behind a mask, but feel free to use a creative avatar that reflects something of who you really are. OK, so now we're down to the nuts and bolts. Your professional online identity needs a unique email address, not an institutional one, but one that will stay with you wherever you go and whatever you do and that you can regularly check. You then need to think about the right tools, the right spaces online that have a good fit with your purpose. So there may be blogs and micro blogging. They may perhaps reveal a little bit more of you um, through having your own space, maybe your own website. You may look perhaps at professional networking sites like LinkedIn. Um, you may, if you're using video or visual images, want to look at sites like Pinterest or uh, having a, your own YouTube channel. You may need audio, so things like SoundCloud may work for you. Um, you may want to share slides. If you present very often at conferences, you perhaps want to start a slide share account. But all of these will reflect that same professional presence and connect up, ideally, um, and give a real, really strong feeling of presence for your online professional identity. There's nothing worse for putting people off than dead links and empty profiles. So whatever tools you enlist, make sure you keep this coherence of message that goes all the way through them so that people, even if they're discovering a different part of perhaps what you do online, still know that it's the same person and that this is your voice. So... Now you should have an online professional presence or at least the beginnings of one starting to take shape. And what you're going to need to do is to get active. Put aside a time every week to make sure you review these aspects of your presence to grow your network. Look at other people with similarities in the tools that you're using. So, for example, if you're using Twitter, follow other people who are interested in similar things. And what you will do very quickly is build up a network. But it takes time to grow networks. And spend some time listening and watching before you dive in. Get to know what's happening and what is appropriate within each of these channels. And that way you can make sure that you're going to have an online professional presence that will serve you well.